where the oceans came from. Uh, that's yeah. certainly true also. Where did the water come from? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like we're in the third grade. <laughs> <laughs> you know where the water came from? Yeah, well, yeah, where, I know a place where it could have come from. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we've got comets streaming throughout yeah. the solar system, mm -hmm. and they're, they're, they got tons of water in them. Yeah. Uh, and that's one way we could have brought much of the oceans. There's some problems with some isotope ratios that still are unresolved. But uh, I, I, I beg to differ that questions related to Earth are in the category of the big questions, because Earth is just one planet. And when I think of big questions, I think of questions that apply everywhere uh, to, the, to you know, the, the, the future evolution of the entire universe. If you and had a glacier coming down and getting oh, yeah, no, 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 it's a that's big right. question. Don't, don't get me wrong. I love, you know, Earth, that's our planet. You okay. know, I, well, well, I let, like me, Earth. let me give you one that is, in fact, generic, and that's the origin of magnetic fields in planets. Good. Okay? There you go. I you mean, know, some planets have magnetic fields, others don't. The Earth's magnetic field reverses every 100,000 years or something like that. We don't yes. understand how that happens. That's right. Okay? There you go. That's a big question, there right? You go. But I still think the climate <laughs> is a grand question because we really care about the answer. I guess what I, what I try to do is uh, I would think of it not so much as climate challenges on Earth, but generalizing it to planetary climates. Yeah. And what, you know, why did, does Jupiter's red spot uh, uh, survive? Why does yeah. it survive for but 300 you, years? Sure, but you may get very different answers on different planets. You know, it's going to be like biology that there's a different answer in each system. You'd hope not, but, but, but that's something yeah. itself to know yeah, if, in fact, right. it requires a different explanation. Francisco, let's go to biology. Uh, what are some of the grand questions well, we haven't touched upon? I, I would say there are three great questions in biology. Mm. The ape human transformation, the gene soma transformation. From genes to cells. And the brain uh, mind transformation. What I mean by the ape human transformation is why is it that we are so similar to the apes and yet something went differently in human evolution they gave us what we are. Mm. Again, the, our culture, our mind. Uh, the, by the gene soma transformation I mean something to which we alluded earlier. How is it that the linear information in the genetic code becomes transformed into an organism which is so complex uh, with many different parts interacted in many different ways and changing through life. And we, for the brain, brain, mind transformation, I think Pat can answer much better than I. <laughs> I was, as I've been listening to this, I've, um, I was struck by a thought that hadn't occurred to me before, which is that two of these great mm -hmm. questions are quite closely related, aren't they? They involve uh, code. They involve encryption. One of them um, is the question that you raised of how it, how it works that a genetic code, which is simply a code, can uh, manifest itself as uh, such complex and very living organisms. What makes that connection? And it occurs to me that this is also the, the issue of intelligence. Uh, you know, in, in, in searching for extraterrestrial intelligence, we, we define intelligence pragmatically as the ability to send an encoded message. We're the only species on Earth, and probably in the history of the Earth, that's had that. Ability. What which remains to be done right now is to ask a final question. I want to ask everybody to think about this. If you could get the absolute answer to one great question, but only one, which one is it going to be? Short answer, Steve. How did life begin and is there life elsewhere in the universe? Well, it's two questions, but it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd like to know how intelligence originated, because until I know that, I don't know whether Francisco is right in assuming that intelligence is rare in the cosmos. Francisco? I would be interested more than anything else in Pat's question, the, 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 the ultimate question that she was referring to, the brain-mind transformation. How out of all these neurons and all the chemicals that are going back and forth and electrical signals, I get a unitary uh, mind and also a mind that can think and write poetry, can listen to music and have conversations like this. Especially that. Yeah. He stole my question. <laughs> uh, I, I, I do agree with Francisco. I think that understanding how out of meat you can get thought Hey, that's, leave it perception. there. <laughs> that's poetry. All right. Neil? That's the grand question. Uh, there's some questions I'd, I'd want to risk wasting my question on because they may be dead ends. But the one that's not a dead end is what is the nature and overall properties of dark matter in the universe, mm -hmm. which is ubiquitous. We are dumb, stupid about it. We don't know what we know it's there because everything feels its gravity, but nothing. Nothing else about it and can be there's more of it there's than more, what we can see. There's more of it of than all the kind of matter we've ever, we know that we're made of. So uh, it's, it's, it's the frontier. I don't know how you feel, but I'm exhausted. The great questions of science take us into the realms of 
curiosity, creativity, intellectual rigor, speculation, and even fantasy. We embrace subatomic structure and envision multi-universe inflation. We witness the incredible diversity of biology and reach up to the human brain, the most complex piece of matter in the cosmos. For me, it's thrilling to skim the bits and pieces of heroic thinking. It puts one's own life into perspective. And whether grand design or random accident, it makes you realize how connected we all are. From consciousness to cosmology, what a privilege to get closer to truth. I'm Robert Kuhn.